Welcome to Adding and Subtracting Integers. This is a video to introduce or review students the concept of combining integers or signed numbers. Using objects to visualize signed numbers is initially presented as a way to understand the patterns in adding and subtracting. Examples are presented and then discussed. After which, you will be given an exercise to assess how you understood and apply the concepts. You can answer the exercise yourself or you can watch discussions so you can learn more. But before we continue, it is assumed you know the concepts of opposite of numbers, aka additive inverse, and absolute values. Don't worry, we will recall these basic concepts as we go along. If you are confident enough to skip to other parts of this video, you can click the timestamps in the description below. It is very important to visualize an abstract concept like signed numbers. Mas lalo na kapag nag add or nagsusubtract ka na. Now, one way to visualize this addition of signed numbers particularly is called the number line method. Now, this method is practically saying kapag positive ang number mo, draw to the right. Kapag negative ang number mo, move naman to the left. Example, let's say we're given positive 2. Positive 2 means move 2 units to the right kasi positive. Pag negative 3, negative 3 means move 3 units to the left kasi negative. Okay, para makita natin, let's have an example. What if we're asked to add 2 plus negative 3? Like in this example. So ang gagawin natin is we try to draw this real number line. Then let's look at the two addends. The first addend is 2 and the second addend is negative 3. Now the first addend is positive 2. Walang nakalagay na positive sign but definitely kahit wala, it's positive. Therefore, starting from 0, the origin, positive 2 means move 2 units to the right. Therefore, you have this arrow. Now, from this end ng arrow, we draw the second arrow using the second addend. So, negative 3 means move 3 units to the left since that is negative. Therefore, we have this arrow. Now, what do we do next? You look kung saan nag-end yung second arrow. Nakatapat siya sa negative 1. Therefore, we can now conclude 2 plus negative 3 is negative 1. So that's how easy it is to use the number line method to visualize adding signed numbers. Here is another example. Now what if we're given 4 add-ins na, hindi lang dadalawa. Same concepts kapag positive to the right, negative to the left. So let's start by drawing this real number line. Take note again, we start from 0. So, the first addend is 1. Walang sign, but definitely it's positive. Therefore, positive 1 means 1 unit to the right, as you can see here. And then, second addend, it's 3. Positive 3. Again, that means positive 3, 3 units to the right, as you can see from the second arrow. Next, from the end of the second arrow, we draw the third one. However, the third addend is negative 2. That means negative 2, it's 2 units to the left, as you can see from this arrow. And lastly, the last addend is negative 4, which means negative, therefore, negative 4, 4 units to the left. And then again, we look at the end point of the last arrow. It points to negative 2. Therefore, the sum of these signed numbers, 1 plus 3 plus negative 2 plus negative 4 is equal to negative 2. So let's have some exercises. Bring out your notebook and pen and try these two problems. Use the number line method to answer this. I know, I know, yung iba sa inyo kabisado na ito, but for those na kulang pa ng practice, do this. Remember, by merely trying, you are already learning. You can pause this video now and try them. Kaya yan, go! Here are the answers. I hope you got them. At least we now have an idea on the visual representation of adding signed numbers using the number line method. 
Ang problem is, it's tedious and it takes time to draw. What if we're asked to deal with bigger numbers? Like in thousands. What if we're asked to do subtraction na? How do we draw that? Therefore, we cannot use the number line method every time because it has its limitations. Let us then learn to look at other ways to easily add or subtract signed numbers. But before that, let's clarify some things first. Why do we place parentheses here? Why can't we not just write it as 4 plus and remove the parentheses minus 2? Now the problem with this is, this is a little confusing. Hindi mo alam kung anong ibig sabihin nito. Is it 4 plus minus 2? Naku, dalawang operation, may plus na, may minus pa. But if you try and place parentheses like we did on top, this is much clearer. 4 plus the negative of 2. So, mas maayos kapag ganito. So, whenever you have dalawang magkasunod na ganito, it actually means 4 plus negative 2. But this is more clear, so this is much more accepted. Ito, nako, baka makonfuse ka lang. So, make sure you write parentheses when adding different signs. Now, you might ask me to look at exercise number 1. Sir, bakit ito? May negative 3. Why didn't you put parentheses? Take note, 3 here is at the start of our uh, operation. Therefore, there's no confusion. Is it minus 3 or negative 3? Obviously, it's negative kasi there's no number before it. So, hindi pwedeng minus ka agad. So, that means negative 3. Now, actually, you can rewrite it as negative 3 plus 4. Pwede lang din. They're both accepted. But for me, I would rather write it this way mas simple. Now, let us then learn to look at other ways to easily add or subtract signed numbers. But let us master addition first. Dito muna tayo. Because take note, if we master this, madali na ang subtraction. Now, there are only two cases in addition of signed numbers. The first case, case A here, is if they have the same sign. Now, actually, two steps palagi yan. First step, add their absolute values. Second step, copy the common sign. So always, there are two steps. Now, take note, as you can see, importante dito ang absolute values. Kailangan natin pala dito. Kaya pala inuna natin pag-aralan yung absolute values. Okay, let's have some examples. Example number one. Kunwari, we're given 3 plus 4. And of course, we know that the answer is 7. That will be easy. Pero, sige, please bear with me. Let us use this long method and compare if our answer is correct. Okay, there's a reason why we're doing this. So please be patient. Okay, first step, add their absolute values. So ang gagawin natin is, let's get the absolute value of 3 and then absolute value of 4. We know it's equal to absolute value of 3 is 3. Absolute value of 4 is 4. And then we add them. What is 3 plus 4? It's equal to 7. Nye. Pareho lang doon, pinahirapan pa natin. Pero teka, again, please be patient. There's a reason for this. But that is just the first step. Second step is copy the common sign. Every time that you are adding or combining sign numbers, this is the very last thing that you should do. But you should do it always. So copy the common sign. Ano ba ang common sign ng 3 and 4? Positive. Kaya ang sagot, 7, copy the value here, and then copy the common sign which is positive. So the answer is positive 7, but of course you don't really need to place positive. You simply write 7 which is equal to what we have initially answered here. Okay, now let's look at example number 2. First step, add their absolute values. So let's add absolute value of negative 2 and absolute value of negative 3. We know absolute value of negative 2 is 2 and then absolute value of negative 3 is 3. 
When you are adding, 2 plus 3 is 5. But that is just the first step. Second step, consider the sign. Ano ba yung common sign nila? They're both negative. Therefore, copy the common sign. It should be negative. Therefore, the final answer is negative 5. As you can see, kaya kaya natin kunin yung correct answer by applying these two steps. Now, for some, it's really very hard to understand this if they wouldn't see what's the meaning of all of this. Okay, so let us try to reintroduce the positive and negative unit values here. Earlier, pinakita na natin dito. Take note, we have positive, it's in blue, and negative, it's in orange. Every time that you see blue, it's positive. Every time you see orange, it's negative. Now, also, you can think of this as pera kapag positive. And then kapag orange, it's you can think of it as utang, sort of. Just so we can better understand things. Now, how will this help us try to visualize and understand the concepts here? What we can do is try to represent 3. 3 take note is positive, so we have 3 plus signs here. Next, we have positive 4. We are adding, again, 4 plus signs here. Of course, when we combine them, since we're adding, we have a total of 7 plus signs. Take note, pareho ang sign. Siyempre, may pera. Dinagdaga mo ng pera. Total, merong mas maraming pera mo. That's why the answer is positive 7. Next, let's try to represent example number 2 with the same unit values. But this time, both are negative. So negative 2 is represented by two negative orange boxes here. And then negative 3, tatlong negative orange boxes here. Of course, pag pinag-add, natural, meron kang 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We, only ha we have a total of 5 negative orange boxes. Take note, additive yan. We are adding them kasi utang, may utang na naman, mas dumaming utang. Compared with this one, may pera ka, dinagdaga mo ng pera, mas dumami ang pera. That's how you visualize what's happening in the first case. Same sign, you add their absolute values and copy the common sign. This time, let's discuss the second case. What if we're adding integers with different signs? Anong gagawin natin? Kanina, remember, same sign, you add their absolute values. Ngayon, if they have different signs, you subtract their absolute values. See the difference? And then again, it's still a two-step process. The second step is an equally important step. You choose what sign to use. In this case, the bigger sign wins. Now, let me explain that in a while. Now, let's say we're given example number three. As you can see, we are adding 3, that's positive, and negative 4, a negative, a, num a negative number. Now, how do we do this? Kanina, as we said, you add their absolute values. Ngayon, you subtract their absolute values. So how do we do that? Take note, it's now subtraction. Therefore, para tama yung sagot natin, mauna dapat yung bigger ang absolute value. So let me write absolute value first of negative 4. And then we subtract the absolute value of 3. Now, simplifying this one, buti na lang naturoan tayo ng absolute value. Absolute value of negative 4 is 4. Copy this sign because what we want to do is solve all absolute value groups first. Absolute value of 3 is 3. So what is 4 minus 3? It's 1. But that is just the first step. Second step, what sign do we use? So let me write here. Copy one first. Now, as you can see, we have a bigger negative value here. That means the negative sign wins. So copy the negative sign, negative 1. Therefore, the answer is negative 1. So let me write here, negative 1. Again, negative wins in this case. So copy the sign, negative. Now, let's look at example number 4. We are adding again two different signs. We have negative here, negative 3, and positive 5. So how do we solve this? So first step, subtract their absolute values. Again, since this is subtraction, kailangan mauna yung bigger 
So we have absolute value of 5 and then subtract absolute value of negative 3. Now again, be careful. PEMDAS rule or GEMDAS rule tells us that unahin ang isolve ang absolute value. So absolute value of 5 is 5. And then copy this one, minus absolute value of negative 3 is 3. Remember, you cannot cancel minus negative here because of this absolute value group. So we now have 5 minus 3 is 2. But that is just the first step. Uh, let's do now the second step. The bigger sign wins. Wait, wait, let me copy our value first. It's 2. Now, observing negative 3 and positive 5, take note, the bigger sign is the positive sign. Therefore, positive wins. However, you don't need to write the positive sign there. Even if you don't write it, you know it's positive. Therefore, the answer is positive 2. So let me write here, 2 is the answer. Now, how do we visualize addition of different signs? Now, what we can do is we try to look again at our reintroduced positive and negative unit values. Remember, the blue square represents sort of your pera and your negative square sort of your utang. Now, in this part of the screen, we rewrite these two squares. However, we do something different this time. Let's add them. Now, you can look at it this way. Kunwari, you have one peso in your pocket. Let me write that, represented by this blue square. However, you know that you have an otang from your friend which is worth one peso. If you use this one peso to pay for that otang, in effect, how much money do you really have? You don't have any money. So that means we can sort of cancel one blue box and one orange box here. Let's use this concept to visualize what happens in these two examples. So let's look at example number three again. Three here, the first addend is positive. That's why you can represent it as three blue boxes. And the negative four here, the second addend can be represented by four orange boxes. As you can see, if you have blue piso here, this cancels this utang. This blue here cancels this utang. This blue here cancels this utang. In effect, when you add them, these three are canceled and you only have this left. Therefore, you have only one orange box left, which is representing negative one in our final answer here. You have negative and then one box. Nice, no? Okay, let's look at example number four. Let's represent negative three if we draw these three orange boxes. And then let's represent five positive, therefore represented by five blue squares. Now, again, this utang can be canceled by this piso. Utang can be canceled by this piso. Utang can be canceled by this piso. In effect, what do we have left when you combine them? You have dalawang blue boxes, which confirms our answer here. So that's how easily you can visualize using these positive and negative unit values. Now let's summarize. When you are adding and you have addends that have the same sign, what you want to do is add their absolute values, and then copy the common sign. However, when you have different signs, you subtract their absolute values, and then the bigger sign wins. Remember this, same sign, you add. Different signs, you subtract. Now, kanina parang ang tagal-tagal gawin dahil ang haba-haba ng proseso natin. Pero actually, if you look at these next examples, let's try to solve them fast. Makikita nyo, it's a much, much easier than what we have demonstrated earlier. Okay, let's answer number one. We are adding, question, do they have same sign or different sign? They're different. Therefore, you add or subtract, you subtract. So, what you want to do is 6 minus 3, therefore 3. That's just the first step. But then, the second step, bigger sign. Notice, the negative is bigger. Therefore, 
the answer is negative. That's why the answer is negative 3. One more. Let's look at example number 2. We are adding, as you can see here, same sign or different sign. They're both utang. They're both negative. So when you have the same sign, you add their absolute values. 3 plus 6 is 9. And then you copy the common sign. Parehong utang, therefore, ang final answer, utang din. That's the answer. It's negative 9. More. 3 plus 6, of course, that should be easy. The answer is 9. But however, ang gagawin natin is let's apply these concepts. Do they have the same sign? Yes, positive 3 and positive 6. Therefore, same sign, you add 3 plus 6 is 9. And then, copy the common sign. They're both positive. May pera ka. Dinagdigan mo ng pera. Pera pa rin yan. Therefore, the answer is positive 9. Next, we have negative 3 plus positive 6. Same sign or different sign? Different sign. Therefore, pag different signs, you subtract 6 minus 3 is 3. And then, the bigger sign is the positive Therefore, you don't have to write positive here. Alam mo, it's the same kahit wala nun. Therefore, the answer is positive 3. Ang bilis, ano? Okay, we have more. I know, but baka maraming nalito pa rin dun. So, last four examples. What if we're adding negative 7 and negative 5? So, we are adding same sign or different sign. Same sign, they're both negative. Therefore, we add or subtract. We add kasi same sign. So 7 plus 5 is 12. And then copy the common sign. Parehong utang. Ang sagot, utang din. Therefore, the final answer is negative 12. More. We are adding negative and positive. Same sign or different sign? Different. Pag different, what do we do? We subtract. Subtracting 7 minus 5 is 2. And then, ano yung bigger sign? Negative is bigger. Therefore, negative wins. The answer is negative 2. Okay, more. We are adding positive and negative. Same sign, different sign. Different sign. Therefore, we subtract. Let's try and do that. 7 minus 5 is 2. And then, anong mananalo? Positive or negative? Mas malaki si positive. Positive wins. So you don't have to write the positive sign. The answer is 2. And lastly, same sign. Oh, of course, the answer is 12. Okay, again, let's try and do this. Do they have the same sign? Yes. Therefore, pag same sign, add or subtract. Add. So 7 plus 5 is 12. And then common sign is positive. That's why the answer is positive 12. So you're now ready for some exercises. Bring out your notebook and pen and try these. Or maybe you can try to do these mentally. You can pause this video now and try them. Kaya yan! Go! Here are the answers. I hope you got them. Hopefully, with our examples, exercises, and visual representations, you fully understood adding integers. In part 2 of this series, we will be using these same concepts to learn and hopefully master subtracting integers. See you sa next video! Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Happy solving!